talk when I do. Uh, most judo techniques is about entry depth. You know, we talk about maximum efficiency with minimum effort. You know, there's a science behind that. It. It's about leverage. It's about balance. It's about commitment. It's about circular action. So if you do things from a distance, it's much harder. So a simple rule with Meito Managi is the depth of entry. Um, you will often find people show you from a distance. It's okay if you're very experienced and you have very good control. But when we're learning, we have to learn uh, ground roots first, yes? And this word? Yeah, beginning, yeah? So it's very important. I'm going to do now is just complicate things a little bit. This is what we call uh, a, a normal uh, main uh, tomanagi. Um, to do this, we're going to have to go sideways. Okay. So before I step in, it's here, now actually lay backwards. What I'm going to do now, I need to lay this way. And my foot's going to come here. So this is a position I need to be in. And to do that, I need to change the direction of my body action. So what we're going to do from here, foot goes here, foot to come down, and you drop sideways here, across here. And you'll be going to go onto my right side, along there, this here. So, slight different direction. The reason I spoke sand this way, so we do it back from this way, not sideways. Does that make sense? Now, we did a little exercise earlier on, okay, which was here. Coming up here. So, same principle here. Step, throw, and you're coming up here on top of the What you do, you follow the action, you follow the move. Watch again, here. Yeah? Basically, I'm throwing it on the foot on the top of it. Let's go. A lot of reasons. If you don't get up, just throw sideways. I'm quite happy. Okay, so left foot's going to come in here. Foot comes up. Drop. And you can let go. Otherwise, what are you going to do? Is roll up just like the exercise. We got that? Again, we need to drop close to him, across him, no distance. Here, here. Get some. If you face the same way, you don't get confused. One, two, three. Okay, now, I need to apologize. I have got a trap nerve, a bad leg, so not up to the standard that I normally do, but it's about you learning, not about me just showing you. So normally that will be a lot more powerful than that. So we've got to try. That's what you're called Tomanagi. Yes, you're Tomanagi uh, sideways. Okay, let's give it a go. Thank you. If I can't disturb my phone as bad, my hand action is to turn his body this way. Yes? So a lot of you are dropping. But you're not really using your hands. So, this is very important. Yeah? Okay. As I said, cool. if you're not using this hand, you're not going to get it moved. At the moment, we're just doing the circular move. When I'm going with power, I need to get it moving. If I don't get it moving, then I'm just relying on the leg, which I'm attacking the bottom part of his body, but the top part of the body is not being disturbed. So when you step in, this is important. Here. Okay. So that left hand is important for you to work with. So now you understand a little bit, stop using the kuzushi to get the body moving, because this is what's going to get it going here, straight on. Otherwise, you'll just drop and resist. That's why you often see people failing this technique because they're not using their hands. They come here and they get stuck. Which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something. And they collapse. 
Yes. Oh, we must understand there's a difference between training and competition. In competition, you're actually going to go for it flat out. So even if Luki makes a mistake, they're going to land hard, they're going to land awkward, because I'm controlling the throw. We're here, I'm allowing Luki to go over. Yes? But we can't train like that all the time because there are going to be a bunch of left of us. So Luki, as I said, is learning the same time as touring. Yes? Now we put a little bit of spice in it. It's a bit the same, but we're going to create a little bit of movement. Okay? So, we said the movement is here. So what we're going to do now, we've got OK, we're going to a few little steps. Are you slightly ahead of OK? Um, I, don't want him, I don't want him to be too far ahead. Why? I'm going to have to get round. So my leg will be too short. Yeah. So I need to stay even. If anything, slightly. Depends how he moves. But we, what we don't want is him to be ahead of me. <laughs> so I need to subconsciously stay in line with him. A little bit like that Kurashi Barai. If he's moving, he's too far ahead, I'm not allowed to swing. So I need to stay with him to swing. Same with this. If I'm moving, I need to be loud enough to drop in. Does that make sense? Good. Now, let's play. Let's go. You want to get started? You don't get started. Same thing, we're going to cross down here. Um, what happens sometimes high grades in competition is we end up being really low here. Low down here. Right? So maybe it's, got, maybe it's got me back here. Good, that's a very good. Okay? Alright, so we're going to do from here. So we're going to move sideways here. We're in this position here. Yeah. So we're going to slide and then draw. Take him off. Right, so we're out of the comfort zone. Does that make sense? Up and down. You get a right here, guy, and you go. You get a bit of down. That's the control. And here. Yeah. It's a very vulnerable position. It's only vulnerable if you allow it to be vulnerable. It's only vulnerable if you allow it to be threatened. I can move my body any way I want. So even though it's got me down here, nothing's stopping you. It's all about here. So I want the high grace to work on this low, low depth one. And, uh, no grades, I'm happy just to do the normal one, yeah? Unless you want to try. Understand? Yes. You go for the opposite uh, No, same. Same Yeah, he's going to hold me down. Put down here. Okay, and the foot will come from here. Same. Yeah. Exactly the same technique. It may vary, 
depending on Tony's height, but don't freeze. You don't have to be dominated, you don't have to be controlled. I ain't gonna move. Actually, it's a golden move that I teach a lot of my hikers. If you ever feel threatened, if you ever feel dominated, that's the time to attack. That's the time to do something. I don't care what it is, you must do something. Because if you freeze, if you stay that fraction of a second, you're gonna get caught. Yes? So can we try this long? Yeah? Technically the same, that's the change. Okay.